up. I see a door. Come on! Whoa, it's forming a bridge. Let's find out how solid it is. No. No, this can't be right. All that fanfare for an empty room? There's some secret here. There must be. Do your... Pathfinder thing. Oh, you're good. I didn't do a thing. How far down do you think it goes? That can't be air pressure. Electrostatic? Ah, gravitation. Oh, you idiot, PB. That wasn't the front door. This is. I'll let you know. It's acting like a gravity But where is it taking us? Embrace the unknown, Ryder. Now this is more like... Looks like a bunker. Or a vault. Whatever you call it. The controls for that atmosphere processor might be down here somewhere. Let's find out. Anything could be important. Let's be thorough. works in reverse, too. Then we have a way out. You're not leaving already, are you? Not until we find those processor controls. Only minimal power. I don't think it triggered the atmosphere processor, but... Pathfinder, a conduit beneath the floor just activated. Fluid is running through it. It could be generating emergency power. Your scanner will have more details. No signs of any cat. Maybe they can't get into the vault. But you can. That'll get their attention. Lucky me. Wow. I really was just scratching the surface. I see the conduit, Sam. Whatever it is, it leads out of the room. This door should be working. It's got power, right? Do we need a password? What about these holographic patterns? Can you scan one? Now that's interesting. These data pattern things are incredible. If I'm right, each one can hold hundreds of zettabytes. There are whole species who get by with less. Minor corruption detected. The pattern suggests significant data present, but it cannot be accessed. Shouldn't it be warmer this deep underground? Phrase recovered. Must read to access. This console links to surface facilities. 
The hint must control the atmosphere processor. No glyphs. It looks dead, or locked down, like most of this place. The fluid conduit leads to this console and further into the vault. So if we follow that conduit, it might lead to the system lockdown. Open. We read it, we get access. Not what we're looking for, but worth getting a record. You go ahead. I've got your back. Look there. You see that? It's like a broken information display. I'm getting something from that data pattern, but the glyphs make no sense. Damn it. Data corruption detected. What survives is highly technical. From the context, this could be instructions or a warning. Got anything? There's element zero threaded through all this tech. Imagine the engineering that would take. Aha, uh -huh. what have we here? Ah, here's the rock you kicked down here. Safe and sound. Another gravity well, and that's new. What is it? A symbol of authority? A key? It's easy to speculate with Remnant, but we need more facts. I'll see what I can find on this beauty. Maybe over this way. Whatever has this place on lockdown is that way. I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll investigate the relic, and together we'll figure this place out. Not a bad idea. We'll cover twice the ground. See? I knew you were smart. I'm on frequency 145.8. Stay safe. Ten credits say she ends up in a pit of spikes. This gravity well sealed off. No way through. Incidentally, a gravity well is the gravitational effect of a large mass in space. This is more accurately a well with variable gravity. Keep a note for our sorry friend, and for when we try to explain all this. Com check. It's... well, you know who. We read you, PB. Stay in touch. They dug this place through solid rock. Look up there. Must be how they kept it from collapsing. That liquid. Unable to classify. The only way through is down towards it. There's a low hum through everything here. Remnant! Careful, don't fall to that liquid. It burns through your shield. Found that out the hard way. How many do they need? Are those roads down there? 
I can't even see where they end. Up there! More remnants! Watch the edges! Way ahead of you! Don't let him get above us. Keep up. We're good. PB. Ryder, that relic box I found, not a symbol of authority. The remnant still shoot at me. I'll try it with one of those data patterns we saw. Is that a good idea? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's one way to light a room. The atmosphere processor we found before didn't need all these steps. Dad just interfaced with it directly. And it didn't work out so great. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise. Look how high it is. Might be another gravity well. Well sealed. Damn. Maybe we can use the conduit for emergency power. Same as before. Better save the story. Take them out! You're sure this well isn't gonna open up under us? Pretty sure. Focus on the remnant. I wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. I wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. The conduit splits and goes through each of those devices. Interfacing may complete the circuit and allow the well to open. If it gets us to the system lockdown, let's try. Okay, let's hit both those consoles and complete the circuit. is defensive in nature. Power restored to the gravity well. The conduit leads down. Conduit fluid pressure is variable. There could be activity below. Then let's dig deeper. Barely any dust. How old is this place? Unknown. Radiation counts indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Around the time the Scourge appeared? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe the Scourge is why all this tech was abandoned. Dead. Without the conduit, there's not even enough power for the door. Crap, the conduit sprang a leak. Careful. No way you can interface with the console like that. And no fluid means no power. Damn it. Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. Ryder! Up here! What happened? I can't get any doors to work. The conduit's breached. Hey, wait! 
The observers were using weird laser frequencies to fix a broken wall back there. I can send the frequencies to your Omni tools. Maybe they can patch up the conduits? And received. I'll give them a shot. The system's responding to those frequencies. Just a patch job, but it should hold. Nice work. If it's fixed, that console should work now. Uh... Looks like it worked. There's even a bridge. You're a pal, Ryder. Where are you going? First one gets the glory. We'll catch up. If we got that door working too. Will you look at that? How do we get across? I did it. Watch your step. It's still a long drop. Wait, plants. All the way down here. You see them too? Thought all the gravity fun had messed up my eyes. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Company! Hydraulics compensating. Oh, no, I'm okay. Jump jets.
That is cool. Feel that? This whole platform's resonating with something. We must be close. No question. This is the heart of the fall. I've never seen anything like it. All conduits converge here, Pathfinder. That must be the lockdown console. Thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good. surface reconnection. Come on! Bolt restart is now complete. <sighs> that was... Oh, talk about a rush! 
Nothing like outrunning death. Or reactivating a huge mysterious vault. Nice going. Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Whoa. Did restarting the system do that? If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? Unless the builders show up to explain themselves, all we've got is guesswork. So far we've seen bots, living plants, atmosphere processors. Back home, some corporation hit a desert world with an ice comet. They changed the atmosphere to bring rain. To help with support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. EOS could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still, wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. <sighs> Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. Well, this will be interesting. Now for our new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Radiation levels normal. I liked those pre-trip vision paintings of future Eos. Green fields, rivers, forests. Wonder what it'll really be like down the line. Fewer death storms would be nice. We'll get there. Pathfinder is enough to tip the balance.
jet ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that... Drac? Ryder, about time you joined the party. Telling me. <laughs> you could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I'm in. <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. This is gonna be great. This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? Pathfinder's call, but research is no good if we're dead. Military. It's got to be science. Our colonists need to understand their home. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. A military outpost. We defend our own against the Ket. Or anyone else. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's defensible. Arguing that choice will come later. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... Irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. 
I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. The reality, Ryder? You bought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on... something else? The nav point from the... vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. I don't care why anyone helps, so long as they do. I've heard that before. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Life support restored. Ascent is go. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. 
You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. Hey, can you drop by call this the research room? You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. We haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. Anomaly on sensors. Not enough time to survey it all. Anomaly on sensors. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros' aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne. Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. This is Herrick, one of the geek, uh, scientists from the tech lab. What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. With more military personnel out of stasis, those cat won't get near your vault. Or our people. August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new mayor. Bradley? I know him. Seems like a good man. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. This is 
Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend? A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. Though I worry about your decision on Eos, Ryder. A military outpost won't help feed the Nexus, not the way scientists might have. But it will protect us from a growing list of threats. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. Thank you, Director. I'll get on it. May you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder... Ugh. Right. Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Medbay. Like Will do. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. Right. Something about Andromeda viability and perks could be useful. do we have? You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending.
Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more security, like you chose at Prodromos? That's your call. Brecca will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like... too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and the general stability a metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. So, I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things, a lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people, and how all our lives begin. All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Everyone, all power grid adjustments must be approved. 